Hey, a bunch of good day, everyone. This is Sports Fanatic News, and I'm Joe Borick, and this is going to be a quick preview to the Philadelphia Flyers versus New York Rangers tonight. After Brian Moose Elliott made 33 of 35 saves, proving that when you play right in front of him, he is a very good and zoned in uh, number two, and a very good number two that should be desired if the Flyers don't keep him by anybody in the market. Play right and don't play like a bunch of the bad news bears in front of him, and you see what happens because the Flyers yesterday, I must say. Um, other than giving up a good amount of top shot total, um, 35 to the Rangers, or their 36 shot on goal, did look pretty solid, especially in that second period. They got pressure going. And then, of course, you got a crazy goal that, um, thank God, James Van Riemsdyk was able to come back, that went off of his face um, and into the net, and then he skated off, and thank God he was able to come back, and then isn't scared at all. Goes right back in front of the net for a backhanded tip-in. And then Voracek just fooled everybody, juked them out, because even J.J. on the call thought he was going to pass. And then he went for the shot. So that was just, this was actually a game you can talk positives. Obviously, I know this team are making the pleasure here. I get that. Um, I understand that. But it was a game you see good things for the Flyers being spoilers, because the Rangers were on a good run. As J.J. mentioned in the um, broadcast, um, th they were on a good run. And then they lost to the Islanders, and then we were able to beat them. The, our Philadelphia Flyers, led by Brian Moose Elliott and James Van Riemsdyk, were able to beat them. And Jay, or not Jay, or Jake Voracek, Skoracek's big goal there. So now we move into tonight's game that Alex Lyon, a uh, Phantoms, a uh, Lehigh Valley Phantoms key all time winning his goalie since the organization has moved around a bit, is going to get the start tonight. This is another goalie. Again, if you play fine in front of him, he beat Colorado. He has five wins. He's beat Boston. He's beat some good teams in the NHL when the team actually played worth a damn in front of him. Play like you did yesterday and maybe limit the shots instead of 35, say, because you really don't want to have most of your goaltenders averaging 35 to 40 a night. You would rather have it be 25 to 30 or lower if you're actually playing a good man defense like how more consistently you see a Carolina Hurricanes led by Rod Brindamore who could be favorited former flyer for the Jack Adams honestly right now but when it comes to this team just play good play concise in front of your goal we will see if Samuel Morin um who was scratched yesterday will come back in Carter Hart is of course still out and Tanner Lazinski's out with his hip Wade Allison continued to look good he gets power play minutes he gets put everywhere he looks good he makes some nice passes he has good vision he's good in front of the net and he has a lethal wrist shot that we haven't even got to see yet because he hasn't set up yet but I saw it multitudes of times talked about it in my ghostly take videos with the Phantoms but he is a menace when it comes to his shot too and he is a menace in front of the net been a great player for this team I'm actually helping Kevin Hayes a little bit too hey Hayes looks a little bit more spry and uh, motivated these last couple games after having a struggle bunny season other than offensively for him he looks like he's doing it a little bit more in general since that young infusion energy um by uh, Allison got put in and then you also have Fairby often on his line as well so you got a lot of young energy around Kevin Hayes the leading goal scorer of the team and Joel Fairby and the youngster that came in that just brought energy and Wade Allison I think that's really helping out the Flyers um obviously this team the key to winning any game anymore and being spoilers for teams making the playoffs is you have to play a concise defensive game you have to play at least to what you did yesterday which was better especially in the second um the flyers got a good amount of shots on and were able to win the shot total number when it came to the second period when it came to the third they won it by one so it was pretty much even um that's how they ended up getting the one extra shot 36 to 35 by the end of the game but you have to be able to continue to get shots on net. I would have to presume the Rangers would debate. I mean, I would think they would probably go Gorgiev just to avoid injuries or anything, since is still a young goalie. But because they're technically not really in the race, but they were on a good run, then went cold. So say the Islanders do go cold down this short final stretch and they go hot, they have a actual chance mathematically more so than the Flyers to still make it at 52 points to the 60. The Flyers at 49, and they actually have a plus 27 goal differential, so they've been a team that's been doing it better on both ends and actually outscoring other opponents by a good threshold. The Flyers are all the way down to minus 33, so ergo they're struggling defense and helping out leaving their goaltenders out to dry. So the keys tonight to winning are don't leave your goaltender out to dry. Actually protect Alex Lyon. I would say, and this is for any goalie, I like Alex Lyon. I think he's a good goalie. I love watching him when I watch him for the fans via NA, or AHL TV, excuse me, and then also covering the games for the wonderful Flyers Nitty Gritty. Check out their YouTube. It's fantastic and FlyersNittyGritty.com as well. 
But you can't average a goaltender's 35 to 40 shots. Moose stepped up big time, made some fantastic saves yesterday. Alex Lyon, I've seen him do that multitudes of time uh, for the Phantoms. And I also saw him do it in that Colorado game last season and against Boston up here as well. And even in some losing efforts up here um, as well. It's just the Flyers this year, you can't even base most of their goaltending off of certain performances because it's just bad news bears as how their defense was just all off kilt. How they played yesterday was encouraging and promising. Um, it, it seems like these guys are bringing in some young energy when Allison's come in. It seems like that kind of sparked the room a little bit. And then I think you need to bring Warren in for some physicality too. Don't just keep scratching him. He's been playing well. Make sure you mix him in there still. I wouldn't be surprised if he's put back in there tonight because he rested yesterday. I don't see him because of his injuries for really doing back-to-backs consistently, so I wasn't shocked there. They kind of picked one game maybe to rest him, but I would be shocked if he's out back-to-back games against a team like the Rangers. So we'll see what they decide to do there. But this has been a quick preview to Flyers and Rangers. The key is protect your goaltender. I think another key player to watch tonight is Wade Allison. Again, he's been all over the ice. He's been good. And then another big key player to watch in this game is going to be Um, I honestly think Jake Voracek, I mean, he looked motivated. He got that goal after he got that goal. He looked really pumped up. I think he's going to be coming into this game. The Flyers actually do really good in the garden. It's just, we got smoked nine to nothing um, in the game prior that that just made everyone forget how good we've done recently in the garden. So I'm confident that the Flyers will at least show a good showing. Even if they lose, it'll be like a three to two game or four to two because of a late empty net goal. I think they're compete really well in this game and the keys to being able to do that and the keys especially to being able to instead of just compete win or protect your goaltender at least to what you did last night but I would say even better more of like a 28 to 30 shot total rather than letting it get more towards the 40s of 35 up don't let it get there try to keep it under that threshold and then have it looks like um you're getting a young infusion energy from Allison Farabee's been bringing that all season um, just kind of let those guys ride it, let those guys be them. It seems like that's what's happening now. And that's why yesterday they got just scored and chances generated by a lot of the youngsters. And then Drew, for some reason, um, the Rangers just for some reason seemed to like leaving open at times. So I wouldn't be shocked if he's able to pot a goal. They just left him open a few countless times yesterday. And he's just able to get wide open wrist shots on net. So that would not shock me there. But this has been a quick preview to the Flyers and Rangers. And also a shout out to Wade Allison and also JBR for being able to score and come back in that game and being able to help the Flyers with two goals in the three to one victory to be able to win over the Rangers or the three to two victory, excuse me, after the late goal uh, by Artemi Panarin there. But the victory that we were able to get due to JVR's perseverance and grit and toughness. So that was great to see. I think he's going to have another big night tonight. And I think Jake Voracek's going to have a huge night because he just seemed confident and spunky after that. And I also would not be surprised if this team actually, it seems like, they were really trying to prove something and show that and just basically end the full hopes. The Rangers' hopes are really bleak right now, but just fully end their hopes. That's what it looked like to me when they came into this game, especially in the second period on Wood. So I'm looking to continue to see that tonight. Everyone have a great and pleasant day. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And subscribe to Steel Flyers as well as Flyers Nitty Gritty. Have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Enjoy the Flyers game. Enjoy the hockey, everybody, and stay safe. Peace out.